Alright, so what we're going to do now is to replace the uh, Lenovo Y50 non-touch uh, 1080p display with a better one. So this is a guide and uh, if you are, if you cannot follow the video itself, you can try to read the written reviews. I mean the written guide itself, I will try to um, put some detailed pictures whenever possible. But I believe the video should uh, show more or less what you can do what you should do rather and uh, it should be rather simple process so now uh, what we can do now is to open up the uh, frame of the monitor uh, so make sure that your monitor is turned off and uh, what you do here is you can see that I've zoomed in at this corner uh, what you have is something like a flat card or something hot uh, but it's thin enough for you to fit inside this uh, there's this groove here and uh, what I got here is a guitar pick. I believe this is a 0.8mm one. I think. I cannot remember, but uh, anything would do. Uh, a cut will surface as well. So you're going to try to slot inside uh, this uh, groove here, as you can see, and it pops out. And all you have to do is to push it all the way until you meet uh, something like a flap or tap. And then you will switch to the other side gently push it in and while you move along the edge you're gonna you want to push it out all the way until you reach the end where you feel that uh, there's like another flap or something like that you're gonna stop and then you're gonna proceed to the other side um, which I'll show you I, I just remember I didn't zoom out for that uh, okay So what happened was that uh, I basically once you reach to a point where uh, you feel that there is like a flap and you cannot open, you switch to the other side, you slot it in and then you slowly push out all the way till you reach a point where there is again like another flap where it's somewhere here, you can see at the top of the video. So you stop there and then you proceed on to the other side. So same thing here, you want to slot in at uh, this particular corner uh, where you will find like a groove where you can fit in your plastic card or something like that and then you're going to try to slowly push it open and then you hear a uh, tap kind of sound and um, you just work your way up until you meet a point where you cannot uh, like there is a uh, something that is blocking, you switch over inside. Alright, so once you want to reach uh, both edges, um, you will have to do something like holding both sides, which I will show you right now. So uh, basically you hold both sides and then what you're going to do is you want to push out the uh, bottom as you can see here and then there you go because it's like something like a um, sliding in so you slide it out and then you push you can basically uh, take it off already. So once the frame is off, uh, it is um, more or less just using screws. You can see here the four different screws. Like here, one, two, three, four. Uh, at the four corners, uh, you basically just use a screwdriver to take it out because these are the stuff that are holding on the LCD in place. So I'm just going to do just that. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, I had just some problems with uh, one of the screws uh, because um, it was already stripped, uh, semi stripped, so it's very difficult for me to pull it out. Uh, one technique that you can do if it ever happens to you is that you can use a rubber band and then you try to force the rubber band in together. Uh, it's one of the life hacks that I've learned in the internet. Uh, it works sometimes, it doesn't work on other situations but for me I'm very lucky it, it worked so anyway so once you get all four screws out what you want to do is simply lift the um, the screen up 
and uh, lay it down on your keyboard like this. Alright, so you can see here, let me just adjust the camera a bit. That there is this uh, particular sticker over here. What you're gonna do is gently lift it up. Uh, what it is is basically to uh, help to uh, secure the connection of the uh, display, uh, the input and uh, power, etc. Uh, I'll just show you. You just have to lift up the sticker and then pull slowly uh, pull out the uh, connector. Once you lift that up, um, you just have to slowly pull out the connector. Uh, there isn't a need for any kind of force or anything like that. Just slowly pull it out. And then uh, you will prepare your uh, replacement LCD display. Same thing, you lay it down on your keyboard and then you just do the reverse of whatever you have done so far. Uh, so from now I'm not going to talk and you just observe it, uh, observe whatever I do and then that is it. Um, you might want to test the monitor first, so once you connect it and then you can screw the four screws in. I'm just going to turn on the uh, this, the laptop itself to check out if the display itself is working before you can continue. So it doesn't waste any time if you need to uh, put back the original one. Right, and this time around is working. Uh, so what happened previously was that I didn't push in the connectors in uh, fully, so it wasn't even connecting properly. That's why there wasn't any display at all. So now that you know that the display is working, uh, all you have to do is uh, put everything back in the reverse manner, and um, you're done. So I'll just show you a very. I'll stop talking, and then I'll just show you me putting everything back once I shut down the uh, the laptop itself. And uh, yeah, you see the massive difference. I have some screenshots, I uh, took some pictures with my camera, and uh, we will see uh, how it looks like afterwards. Right, and we are done. And uh, I'll just show you some pictures to compare. But uh, from first look just now, when I just started up the test, um, it certainly looks much, much better. So I'll get back again, and uh, we'll just discuss a little bit more about the display, uh, about how bad the original display is, was, and how, why you should always change it. Unless you have, you have the 4K uh, monitor, of course, which I heard some uh, better reviews of. So, yeah. We'll just take a look at some of the comparison uh, pictures. So what you're seeing right now is the before and after uh, images. Uh, I just took using my DSLR camera and uh, do note that the settings for DSLR camera uh, is fixed so to make sure that all the lighting etc would be constant as far as is possible. So as you can see the first picture here uh, letting you see is a comparison with my Qunix uh, 1440p monitor. Uh, at the left side, you can see the before uh, image, which is very, very bad. You can see that the L LCD display on the Y50, the colors are very washed out. And you compare that to the after image, uh, where the colors are much more vibrant, definitely much more vibrant. Now, if you move on to the next picture, uh, as we move on to the next picture, we can see that um, I've placed an image of just the screen alone and you can really see the vast difference between both um, displays right here now. Uh, it's just 
a world of difference and the stock uh, else uh, display for the Y50 is definitely uh, something that needs to be corrected. So quickly moving on, the next image you see here the uh, top uh, anger kind of view. Uh, you can see that the before image is really washed out and the after uh, the anger is much better from above and of course uh, from below as well if you tilt the uh, display back the monitor back you will see that uh, the color tilting and shifting isn't that bad on the upgraded display now uh, the next few images you have to take it with a pinch of salt because uh, it doesn't really represent a real life I'm not sure why the camera picked it up like that but I decided just to let you see now um, the angles on the viewing angles on the uh, the after you upgrade the display is definitely much better much better than what you see in the camera and much better than when compared to the stock display so so this few images just take it with a pinch of salt uh, do note that real life is much better so yeah you can see that uh, the display is definitely much better after the upgrade so the upgrade costs about hundred dollars altogether shipped uh, for me so it isn't a really costly upgrade and definitely much better. You're going to enjoy all your movies, your entertainment, your media, uh, games, etc. Uh, yep. So if you have any questions, uh, hopefully the video has helped you. If not, uh, do leave me a, leave a comment or uh, message me and I'll try to get back to you. So do subscribe for more such videos and I'll give it a thumbs up if you find it informative. And yeah, I'll see you guys again soon.